In this video, you will learn how to manage inventory using the NCR Silver back office. Let's take a quick look at how that's done. First, let's click on the inventory in our menu selection at the top of the screen, and then we will click on the sub tab manage. Here first, you will see the inventory snapshot. The inventory snapshot allows the vendor or merchant to track inventory at a glance. From the snapshot screen, you can view what you have, what you need more of, and how much it would cost to replenish your inventory all in one place. You can search the track items by each item name or by the barcode. There are three options for filtering the information on the inventory snapshot. You can filter by number of days to reorder point, by showing items with days of supplies less than whatever your filter choice is, and quantity on hand. You can select your categories, your vendor type, and again, your number of days of your reorder point. When you have done this and you click select through the search filter tab, you will be populated through a snapshot form that you can export or print at your convenience. Let's move on to the count worksheet. In the count worksheet, it's the first step to managing inventory. To know how much you have to do this, you need to perform an initial count of each item you wish to track. This number serves as a starting point for tracking inventory or quantity on hand for an item during an entire period. That item remains in your inventory. To help you accomplish this task, you can use the item count worksheet to create a listing of all the items you intend to count. Once you've done this, you can print the worksheet and take it with you as you count the items in the store, write the counts in the appropriate boxes, and once you've completed the counts, you use the count entry screen to enter the count for the items. You can select your items by when they were counted, and of course, by your categories. Let's move on to count entry. Here in count entry, you actually enter the numbers that you used on your count worksheet into the system so that it can track what you need more of and what you have on hand. Here, if you select, for example, French fries, I can enter the packages I have on hand, the units on hand, and then save my changes. Again, this balances against your count worksheet to ensure that you don't run out of product and also to track your margin for each item for overages, shortages, and waste. It's basic tools to help keep your inventory flowing as items go in and out of your store. Let's move on to receive. Here on receiving inventory, because inventory is always changing, whether you're selling items or receiving new items, you wanna keep track of those fluctuations. It's important to ensure your profitability. So the receive inventory screen enables you to know the quantity of items being added to your inventory as well as knowing the quantity of items you are selling. Use the receive inventory screen to track quantity of items being added to your inventory as well as to update the vendor cost and retail price for those items. For the best efficiency, it is best to filter the items to display them by vendor. However, you can enter each of the item's names in the search box to click for that category. You can also see the units in the packages, the packages received, the last package cost, the per unit cost, the current retail price, and other identifying factors, even including the variations. You have just been given a quick overview of the inventory management tools available in the NCR Silver back office.